Tis the season for love, but sometimes you have the chicks in your life and you want to send it to your gal pals. Join us as we create right now this beautiful, foily, shiny, gorgeous, pink Galentine's Day card. That's for the gal pals in your life. So my name is Jamie with gettingcrafty.net and today's Card Making Monday is creating this beautiful handmade card that I cannot wait to give to my bestie who loves pink. And um, it's a sweet little envelope tuck in card with a surprise little lipstick inside. And I like a little bit of lipstick. I don't know about you. This makes me happy. So let's go ahead and create it right now. If you haven't, make sure you take a second to like this channel, subscribe, and join us three times a week for Card Making Monday, Wild Card Wednesday, and Stamping Stream Friday. I had to think there for a second. Um, with this gorgeous kit that we're going to be having for an upcoming online class that you can take anywhere in the United States. And the class is free. So check it out on my blog at gettingcrafty.net. Let's go ahead and create it now. So it's that time of year when you want to create some love and send it out, but you have more girls in your life than you do guys. This beautiful card comes together with this great hearts and kisses bundle. I love the little lips. Of course, you know I love my lipstick. And the gorgeous little lipstick and the lips and the heart and the words and happy Galentine's Day. So today we're gonna celebrate our girlfriends. The reason I wanna do that is my best friend, I get to see her today. And so I'm super excited. Also, we have this Hearts and Kisses class coming up. It will include this Heart and Kisses bundle. It starts on January 25th, and it's for two weeks, two times a week. Exclusive videos, it's going to be fun. You can join with me live and create. It's going to be a blast. Don't miss out. Now, in order to do this, we're going to need this beautiful lip punch. First of all, can we say, ee, I love it. Look at my lips. Here, I'm gonna put my lips in there. Ooh, girl, I'm just saying. Awesome. Um, and we're going to talk about the gorgeous products in this suite. From foils to beautiful foils. Did I mention the foils? <laughs> I love the shine of this suite. So look at the gorgeousness of this designer series paper that's in our Halloween collection. Three stunning colors, a little bit thicker than regular cardstock because it has all that gorgeous foil in it. It takes your breath away. With Blushing Bride, Rococo Rose, and Sahara Sand colors and coordinating foils. But not only that, you get these high shine foils. Did I mention high shine? Mm -hmm. Kind of like my lip gloss, I'm just saying. So we're going to be embracing the um, Blushing Bride version of this. But if you look here, oop, you can see me. Look at my cute outfit today. You can see the gorgeous foils and how shiny they are. I mean, seriously, it is a pure reflection. Are you ready? I just got to drop a piece of paper on the floor here. Look at this. You can see all of my shirt. Look at that. Amazing. Oopsie, right there. I'm wearing this cute mountain shirt I picked up today. Look at that. Yep. So we're gonna embrace a one inch strip of the Blushing Bride. And um, we're also gonna need our paper trimmer. So I love our paper trimmer. We're gonna use the Rococo Rose, item number 150882. All of the description of the products will be in my, um, in my description below or my information below. And um, we're gonna create this little sleeve pocket style card. And I'm going to start with, I'm gonna finish with the heart punch. Um, and we're gonna create, just like this, I was just playing with it. So this here, um, we're gonna create this bottom piece right here. So in order to do so, you need your paper trimmer. I mentioned paper trimmer is my best What we're gonna do is take this piece of Rococo Rose and we're gonna take and cut it at five and a half here, which will give you that funky smaller piece that I just gave you. So pay attention to my funky smaller piece. This here, we'll set it aside, do it on something else. Um, I challenge you to have fun playing with those measurements, those extra scraps, and do something with them. Then we're gonna go to three and a half here and seven and a quarter. So three and a half, or you can just turn it and do three and a half on the other side. This is a very balanced project. And if you know me, I don't even like pink, but because I'm seeing my best friend, she loves pink. This will be wonderful. I'm gonna have this great card to give her. So um, we're gonna go ahead and cut from, we need it to go from here to here. So let's take this um, inner piece right here. And I want this to be the high piece, the center piece. So that's how you know where to cut. So we're gonna go up here, and as you move one corner, you'll have to shuffle the other cut corner. Oopsie. Or if you do just do that. 
and we're going to trim it down and use these pieces on something else. I'm going to come here and trim just like this. This is my favorite way to trim because then the blade side is going to have a little lip and it'll be on the inside of the card and well hidden. It's kind of like how you hide things, like a pair of Spanx, whatever. There we go. Now we're going to give it a good impression with our bone folder. And again, I like to tuck this in. Now this is going to be a standard card size. It's pretty awesome like that. And we're going to give it a nice impression, turn, a nice impression. And then we're going to use the multi-purpose liquid adhesive. You want to make sure you use the fine tip side. I like to do a little tap. Um, make sure it doesn't splurt. And we're just going to put a dot and then kind of pull. Oopsie. Pull. And I want to keep it as close to the bottom as possible. So tuck that piece in. And then we're going to take this piece here. And we're going to do the same thing. Kind of pull it across. And I like to go up a little bit there. Remember, this is going to overlap. So you can come up just a smidge like that and give it a good rub. Now, if you had put too much adhesive, it's going to gush right there. So here we have a nice little sandwich. Make sure it's got a good impression. Use your bone folder if you want. It's going to smear out all that stuff right there. Um, I'm great at using a grid paper because it helps you to stamp straighter and, and process better. Um, so that's one of the reasons why. But if you have a reusable mat like this, you can just, you know, rub it off. So this is our card base, basically. And then we're gonna take a piece of Whisper White and we're gonna take it to three and three quarters by five. So I already have it at three and three quarters. I'm gonna cut it to five inches. Oh, it's already at five, really. So perfect. And then we take a piece of this gorgeous designer series paper. And I did it twice, and this is why. It cuts off right here. And so this, oh shoot, we were supposed to do it before we applied it down with adhesives. Let's see if we can pull it up while we still can. We can, we can, we can, because we can cover up anything. Girl, let me just say, hopefully you listen to me later. Um, and we're going to take this strip here. Use your, as you cut it off, you're going to want to make sure that you have this piece cut. So they're going to be mirror imaged of one another. And you use your other piece on another card. So we're gonna take this piece here and I'm gonna catty corner cut that just like we did that cardstock right there. And this is super easy. I mean, you're looking at a piece that is three and a quarter by five. So three and a quarter by five or five and a quarter, three and a quarter by five and a quarter. And we're going to go ahead and come in here and we're going to hide what I just did. Right, just take a little multi-purpose liquid adhesive, take it to the top as close as possible, but I always leave a little breathing space when I use our adhesive so that I can put that down. Plop that in. Isn't she beautiful? My goodness. She shines like my friend is. I'm so excited about seeing my best friend. It's hard when we grow up and we all live in different states from your family to your friends. This is one of those things that it's like a gift. It's a gift from God when you can see your loved ones. And it kind of refills your soul, if you know what I mean. It just gives you a refreshment. So I can't wait to actually give this to her today. Hopefully she loves it. She generally does. She's like a big sister where she's always encouraging me. We're gonna come and do this here. You wanna make sure that the end pieces really get on because that's what's gonna move and, and be touched the most. Boom, boom, boom. Now, isn't that pretty? I know, it's pink, which I'm not a huge pink fan, honestly. Blue is my favorite color. Um, and I don't do a lot of pink. And I definitely don't do a lot of mauve. Hello, I'm a child of the 80s and 90s. My mother lived in mauve. Um, but it's so freaking gorgeous, I'm just saying. Now, we have this beautiful punch right here, right? I'm going to put my lips back into it while we talk. And I really just want this heart. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a one inch strip of that Blushing Bride foil and we're gonna punch out just the hearts. This actually works for the lips too. So the last one I did was the hearts. Let's do the lips real quick. So I'll show you the difference. 
clear. Boom, you need two of them. And actually, I'm going to turn something and do it the other way. This is why it doesn't say that the lips are perpen or there's symmetry. So what you need is them to back up to one another. Now this online class will be a blast. You can order it now, order your supplies and take the class with me for free besides shipping the packet to you. And that, so if you order now, you'll use our hostess code for the month, which is um, in the description. It's 94 B, no, 94 G, B, B, 2, G, C. Good Lord, say that one fast three times. Don't do it. Uh, one of the disclaimers with this high shine foil is that you need to, let's turn this around. We wanna match our lips up. So we're gonna place the design, or the piece of Whisper White cardstock just like this. I would recommend vanilla. I couldn't find my vanilla. This is what happens when you're in the process of a move. Um, so let me see here, like this, but this shiny paper will hold your fingerprints. So what I like to do when it's all drying right there is I will, before I send the card, ugh, not transfer glue to it, that's for sure. I will use a microfiber because I'm not using my microfiber here. I'm just going to grab my shirt and give it a nice rub because I'm not going to transfer my fingerprints onto this. And if you use smear it like that, hold on, guess what? There's two sides to the paper. Oop, oop. And then if you do that, you can see where you messed up. Okay, so I will clean that with a microfiber in just a second. Um, I want to show you what the heart version looks like right here. So it's just the same heart rubbed down. And I'm going to put that to the side. I put the stamp set on top of it just to make sure that the adhesive has a little bit of pressure. Then I grabbed our two ink pads that coordinate, the Rococo Rose and the Blushing Ride right here. We're going to start with both of them, but I love me some lipstick. And I'm going to use the Rococo Rose, pat my lipstick, and place it down here in the corner. Now anything that's in the fold will be hidden. So anything that's behind that. And I want it to be kind of a fun surprise. Now my bestie used to sell makeup. Um, and so it's kind of fun because she likes makeup too. <laughs> we both like makeup. Um, okay, so we're going to do our happy Galentines up here. Galentines is for your gal pals, I'm just saying. And then I'm going to use the hearts in the Blushing Bride, and I'm going to come down, kind of do this here in the Blushing Bride, and stamp off, fill that paper with some really pretty, subtle little background hearts. And it's a really fun and easy technique while it cleans off your stamp. Hello, good things. Um, and then we're just going to place it all together. So here we're going to have our lips and I'm going to go in and I'll clean off the adhesive while it's still drying. Hello, my luck. Um, this gives you a great area. You can still write down here. And the great thing is a, a friend of mine um, used to be, she's from the South and she was so wonderful, but she decorated all the insides of her cards, like extreme decoration. And... I asked her why, and she said, because then it's so beautiful, but then she only has to write a small note. I thought that was brilliant. Her name was Helen. Okay, so there you go. Tuck it in, and you have a cute little hot pink Happy Valentine's Day card. Now, this is great for all of your girlfriends in your life, and it has a little lipstick, but take it up a notch. I like pretty pretties. So this is the coordinated blushing bride sparkly ribbon. Look at that. Look at that. Because it's going to my bestie, I'm going to wrap this around and we're going to make a little bow on this. And usually I use my ribbon shears, but I'm just going to grab regular shears here real quick. They fray a little bit more if they've been using paper. So I have specific shears, snips that are for my ribbon. So we're going to tie this in a cute little bow. And it's double-sided. So what I do is I really want the most sparkle for my buck. So I'm going to put my finger here and create my little bow. So as I wrap it around my finger, I am going to zoom in here for you. Boom. So I'm going to come in here and then as I go under, I will twist the ribbon right here so that that shiny piece comes out. And much like motherhood, I have manipulated something beautiful. 
out of my children or my ribbon, either or. And actually, I'm gonna teach you a little something anyway. So if you don't wanna fuss with the ribbon, what you can do is do a double knot. I always look to see which one's a little bit longer. Kind of top that under there. Now, my ribbon is tied tight around the card, kind of just like so. And then, turn your card over. So when you tie your ribbon, it actually lays better. So again, we're gonna come to the little bow, wrap it around where I'm getting the most for my ribbon. And it's two-sided that way, because look at the shiny satin underneath, let's see. So, always go more on your ribbon than less, I'm just saying. Oopsie, because now I'm tight. Now I'm tight. And not in a good, like I have tight abs kind of way. Just a, I'm tight. And stick it under. This is not my best ribbon, you guys. Ugh, I can't stand that. That's going to drive me nuts. Okay, let me show you what I'm going to do instead. We're just going to wrap this around. Using my multi-purpose liquid adhesive, we're going to add a little line here. Tie up my ribbon. Look at that. Ooh, it's going to be even fancier now. Boom. And come in there. Make sure it's nice and straight. I'm going to get my, rabbit, my ribbon shears for here. My ribbon snips. I should. So they don't cut paper, my ribbon snips, just so you know. They just cut ribbon. So I have a ribbon on the end so that you can always tell what it is. Now this is where my stamp and seal usually makes me really happy. And I will probably use a glue dot to tie the bow on there. Right there. Nice. Now just take your bow, same thing here, wrap it around. But as I wrap it, I'm gonna twist the ribbon so that it comes out with the same shine. Because if you don't, it will have the other ribbon side popping through, which is kind of fun if you want a two-toned effect, um, which sometimes you do. And you can manipulate your ribbon. I really want this like curly piece like that. So just twist your, paint your ribbon. So I'm actually traveling this whole week to go look at homes and um, make an offer on a home. So I'm doing that for my whole family. My family has not seen it in person, so I'm very excited. Do you ever have just like a dream home? This is hopefully what's gonna become for us. It's near my family, I'm so excited. And I'm gonna come in and just kind of sashay it. I want that ribbon to have a little bit more flair. So the longer you cut it, the more you set. And then we're gonna use a glue dot to put that down just like that. So grabbing our glue dots, unwind, grab the little bow on the back of the dot. And this prevents you, I have two now, tries to prevent you from getting it on your finger so you don't transfer sticky to your project. And I'm going to pop that down right there. This looks like a fancy card when it's really not. And you have two options here. So here's our happy Galentine's Day. Let me back out a little bit. Ooh. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, so here's our happy Galentine's Day. Hi, shine lips. Oh my goodness. Beautiful lipstick inside. But you also have the heart option just like this. And when you have it on the back, it's now matchy-matchy. And that's why you turn it over when you're punching so that you can have symmetry in your projects. So I would shine this up before I send it out, use a microfiber so that it's not transferring like my fingerprint across the front of that. And it's really cute. Which is your favorite? Are you all about the lips or are you all about the heart? Who would you send to your best friend? I don't know, I can't pick. I love it. I think I'm gonna give her the lips though. Though I love my bestie. She's my bestie in the Westie. And there you go. So happy Valentine's Day. I hope this beautiful handmade card inspires you to create something wonderful and shiny like this.
<laughs> Hopefully you like it. Check it out on my blog at gettingcrafty.net. That's gettingcrafty.net. Okay, because I couldn't decide which of these really pretty little inserted cards to give. I mean, they're so shiny and so awesome. What I'm going to do, which is super fun, is I thought, since I put the lips on this side, watch, just watch, how cute is this? You can stick the other note behind because I couldn't decide. And now you have a multifaceted card gift. Look at that. You could put a gift card on the back or just an extra um, greeting. This is something exciting. She's gonna wanna pull both pieces out to see what's going on. And that way I don't have to choose. I don't know about you, what do you think? Do you like that little spin on this? Let me know. Whether you're creating a heart or high shine lips, I mean, goodness, aren't those gorgeous? This beautiful Galentine's card is so easy to create, but while it delivers a big wow, gorgeous coordinating designer series papers come together to shine with those high shine foils that Stampin' Up! has created. A handmade card is a wonderful way to surprise somebody and delight. And this here will hopefully be delighting my best friend today. Um, we never get to see each other. It sucks being adults sometimes. Um, if you haven't, go ahead and check out this upcoming channel, this upcoming um, video on creating with our adhesives, um, the basics of stamping and adhesives, and then um, check out this channel. I think you'll enjoy our Card Making Monday projects. And then go ahead and subscribe to this channel, hit the bell for notification, and then see us later this week. Wednesday is going to be an amazing project, so don't miss out. Hopefully you're excited about it as much as I am. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.